I'm rolling. So, all right. So if you could just start out, say and spell your first and last name. My name is Dylan Thomas, D-I-L-L-O-N-T-H-O-M-A-S. Okay, and your rank? Sergeant E5. Okay. Um, and what is your title with the CST? I job? am a survey NCO. Okay, and what does that mean? That means that I'm a member of the uh, lowest ranking team within the team. Uh, we are part of the individuals that go down range in a hazmat suit and take samples and analyze potential hazards for public safety. Okay. Now, explain to me, walk me through today a little bit. What, what did you do today? So today was a TPE. It's a once every 18 month evaluation for the unit. The unit will qualify today so that we're able to respond for our state and for our region. If we, if we don't qualify today, then we get in a lot of trouble by NGB. So it's pretty important that we pass. Okay. Um, now, what did you were with one person and then you guys went through. Kind of tell me what you did in the, in the building. Okay. So um, during the scenario today, we were given a little bit of intelligence. And we entered inside of a church where a, a group of individuals accidentally dropped a jar of unknown liquid and they had, they had fallen out uh, or passed out and we, we needed to find out what they were exposed to. So we made entry into the building, uh, conducted a, an interior reconnaissance of the, the building that we were allowed to move through. And once we arrived at the target location where the amber jar was broken, we, uh, we took photo photos of everything and we took uh, wet chemistry so we run it on some M8 paper, M9 paper, pH paper to give us a, an outlook of what the chemical is. We start looking at different precursors and then we ran a, uh, a half site run which is our most expensive and, and golden standard equipment and it, it, it essentially told us what it exactly was down there and, and then we can bring that answer back to the incident commander and our commander and they can take that information and make a decision on where to go and what to do next. Okay, perfect. Um, as far as scenarios that get on coverage, now, uh, what, how do you feel about doing this line of work? What, what do you think about your job? Um, I think it's, it's really cool. I like the mission. Um, I, feel, I feel as though I'm needed within the state. Um, being on an enhanced readiness cycle makes me feel important knowing that I'm at any point in time I can, I can be called up and, and help fellow Oklahomans. It's a great feeling. So, so the mission of the civil support team, um, in a nutshell, is to respond to acts of domestic terrorism in a defensive posture. Um, not just acts of, of, uh, of terrorism, but we can respond to uh, natural disasters, i.e. the tornado. We, we work hand in hand with firefighters and engineers and we can approach a building and tell you whether or not the air is breathable. So. We can go into a confined space where there is no air and help rescue someone with ropes. Um, we can also take samples of the most complex nerve agent possible. So we're very broad um, jack of trades individuals. We're, we're not a master of any of them, but we're good at all of them. Okay. 